All right, we're back with some more defensive use of a firearm stories for you for, from the last few days. Uh, we're back to the old way of doing it after trying it a different way for a few weeks. And we're going to start in Bay City, Michigan, where we have our victim was unharmed and our suspect was a 33-year-old male. He was injured, and this one looks like a home invasion. Uh, police say that an alleged home invasion suspect is in serious condition after being shot by a Bay City resident. Police responded to a shooting in the 200 block of North Jefferson Street shortly before 5 p.m. on Monday. Officers found a 33-year-old Bay City man outside the residence suffering from two gunshot wounds to the torso. Investigators say the individual that was shot was allegedly armed with a pipe and had broken into the residence. That is when one of the residents shot the alleged suspect, according to Bay City Department of Public Safety. The individual has been hospitalized with serious injuries, but is stable. So this guy breaks into someone's house and is met with a bullet, as he should have been. All right, we're going to go to McPherson, Kansas, where our 41-year-old victim, a male victim, was unharmed. And this is another, the suspect was a male suspect, and this is another home invasion. An intruder was shot as he was trying to enter a home in McPherson early Easter morning. According to the McPherson Police Department, Sunday at 3.29 a.m., officers responded to a shooting which occurred in the 400 block of East Avenue A. According to McPherson Police Chief Mikkel Golden, a 41-year-old man, was at a home when he heard someone trying to get into his residence. The homeowner went to the door with his firearm. The male suspect attempted to enter the residence, and the homeowner fired his weapon one time, hitting the suspect in the abdomen. The EMS transported the suspect to uh, the hospital. The male suspect was later transferred to Hutchinson Regional Hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. There was no danger to the public, as this was an isolated incident. The investigation is ongoing. And then they ask if anyone has any information. So yet another uh, home invader that was shot by the homeowner. Okay, San Antonio, Texas. Our 27-year-old male victim was unharmed, and our suspect was a 59-year-old male. This is another home invasion. 59-year-old male, and this time they were killed. Uh, shooting on the, east, on the city's east side. Left one man dead on Saturday night. The shooting happened around 9 p.m. on the 3000 block of Martin Luther King Drive. And we know what happens when you live on Martin Luther King Drive. According to police, upon arrival, they found 59-year-old Rudolfo Ybarra suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the abdomen. Officials say the 27-year-old man shot Rudolfo Ybarra in self-defense. The other man died at the scene. Police are investigating the incident but believe it is a case of self-defense. So this is three in a row that are home invasions that the man has been, or the suspect has been shot. And all three so far are clear self-defense situations. And this one, they, they, whenever they list it as Martin Luther King Drive, anyone that follows crime a lot knows that as much as people, you know, like Martin Luther King, the uh, there's a lot of homicides and a lot of people getting shot and killed on roads and streets and everything named after Martin Luther King. So typically, they put those roads in apparently bad areas. All right, we're going to go to Sierra Vista, Arizona, where our adult male victim was unharmed, and our suspect, which was their neighbor, 45-year-old Timothy Michael Steffen, he was injured and arrested. This one I don't think is a home invasion. The Sierra Vista... Vista Police Department arrested a man for aggravated assault following a shooting that occurred uh, Saturday morning. On Saturday, March 30th, around 1.45 a.m., the Southeastern Arizona Communications Center received several 911 calls after residents in the area of an apartment building heard shots fired. One of the callers stated a man had been shot and needed medical attention. Officers responded to the call, located 45-year-old Timothy Steffen in the area, who was wounded and in possession of a rifle. Stefan was taken into custody at the scene and treated for injuries. Detectives from Sierra Vista Police Department Special Operations Bureau identified that Stefan and another individual were involved in an argument on the second floor of a building, an apartment building, 
when Stefan went to his apartment, retrieved a rifle, returned and pointed it at residents on the second floor of the building. Individuals at the scene then shot numerous times in the direction of Stefan, striking him once. Officers recovered two weapons after a consent search of the second floor apartment where the altercation took place. A search warrant was subsequently obtained for Stefan's apartment and officers executing the warrant secured several other weapons and small quantities of dangerous drugs. Stefan was booked into the Cochise County Jail on five counts of aggravated assault and five counts of disorderly conduct with a firearm. He remains in jail on a $30,000 bond. Stefan was arrested in 2019 in relation to an alleged incident of disorderly conduct fighting, but the charges against him were dismissed in 2020. So this guy has somewhat of a criminal history, and he... This, this is what happens nowadays, too. Back in the day, you'd get in an argument with somebody. Maybe you'd yell a lot. Maybe you'd get in a little fisticuffs situation. But for the most part, everybody would go home at the end of the night and wake up the next morning. Now people get in arguments, and they go get guns, and they start shooting at people. And luckily in this one, the guy that instigated the whole shooting thing, he was the only one that ended up getting shot. And none of the other people were injured in it, as, at least as much as you could tell from reading that article. Okay, we're going to go to Merced, California, where we have an adult victim who was unharmed. And we have two suspects, Della Almanza, which is a female, unharmed and arrested, and Jake Bailey, a male, unharmed and arrested. And we're back to the home invasions again. Two burglars were held at gunpoint by Merced homeowner until authorities arrived Saturday evening. Deputies say they were dispatched to a home on the 4,000 block of Mission Avenue for a burglary in progress. Upon arrival, responding units reported finding two suspects being held at gunpoint by the owner of the property, who is a Merced County CCW permit holder. Investigators say the suspect's vehicle was struck in a ditch, was stuck in a ditch with several items belonging to the homeowner's deceased mother. Deputies identified both suspects as Della Almanza and Jake Bailey, and say they were booked under suspicion of burglary and several other warrants. So which do you think is better? I mean, this guy, he held them at gunpoint, so they weren't allowed to uh, steal anything from his house, although they had stuff, they apparently already had stuff in their car that they had already stole, stolen. But he just held them at gunpoint until the officers arrived, and then they were arrested. He could have shot them both, and would have been well within his right to do so. Some of them, you, sometimes you feel like it, it's best that they did shoot the guy, and other times, I don't know, I, sometimes you feel like maybe it is better to just hold him at gunpoint, but they're not, they didn't, if they didn't steal anything, they're not going to probably get, this is in California, they're really not going to have any charge. They're going to be released the next day. And they're going to probably not have learned a single thing from this other than, whew, that could have gone bad. So, I don't know. But luckily, probably for this guy, he didn't shoot them because, again, it's in California. And in California, of the three people, he's the one most likely to go to jail if anything was to happen. All right, so we go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where we have an adult female. Our victim was unharmed. And we have, again, two suspects. One is a 32-year-old male that was killed and another 32-year-old male that was injured and still more home invasions. A woman fires at two men inside her apartment during a home invasion, killing one. Police were called to the 6200 block of Chestnut Street in West Philadelphia just after 2 a.m. on Friday. Police say the woman found the men who broke in and a struggle ensued before shots were fired. A 32-year-old man who, who was shot in the head and the torso he died on the scene, at the scene. Another 32-year-old man showed up at the hospital with a gunshot wound to the chest. He is said to be listed in stable condition. The woman was taken in for questioning by the police. So this is good to see that these women are able to protect themselves now because it probably wasn't that long ago that this situation would have been completely different and the woman wouldn't have had a gun and would not have had the means to protect herself against two men breaking into her house. So we're going to go to Wenatchee, Washington, 
where we got an adult male victim who was unharmed, and our suspect is a 50-year-old male and another home invasion. Most of these defense abuse stories are home invasions this week. Wenatchee police are investigating a shooting just after midnight Friday morning in the 300 block of South Wenatchee Avenue. Officers say a 50-year-old man was shot by a homeowner who said the man tried to enter the residence. Police Sergeant Nathan Hahn says they haven't determined yet whether a crime was committed. Obviously, a homeowner has the ability to protect themselves if they feel like they're in danger or threatened, said Han. But in this case, we just don't have enough information to be able to definitely say what exactly happened. The man was taken to the Confluence Health Hospital Central Campus with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Police said the injuries did not appear to be life-threatening. They say it does not appear that the homeowner knew the man who was a Wenatchee resident, and no charges have been filed at this time. When you read part of this, the shooting took place at 12.05 on Friday. Okay, so when you read part of this, it kind of reads like they're when they're talking about the, the they haven't determined if a crime has been committed. You, it's hard to tell. I mean, this is Washington. Washington State, and it's hard to tell in, in the reading of what is written here, the way they wrote it, if they're talking, if the, the person that lived at the house that defended themselves committed the crime, or if somebody breaking in committed a crime. Because in states like Washington and California, and that, you know, they're just as likely to charge the homeowner as they got, are the guy breaking into the place. And it's funny, the article right below this says, the 10 most frequently stolen items in Washington state. Let's just look through them quick. Purses, handbags, wallets, computers, hardware, software, consumable, consumable goods, and they have a picture of hot dogs. Okay, apparently they steal hot dogs in Washington. Credit cards, debit cards, merchandise, tools. Clothes is the number four item that is stolen. Is people still clothes? Number three, automobiles, that makes sense. Number two, money, that makes sense. And number one, vehicle parts and accessories. And that makes sense. Some of that stuff doesn't make sense. Who goes breaks into someone's house to steal clothes? Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, we got an adult male victim who was unharmed. Oh, interesting. Our suspect is 46-year-old Rhonda Steen. We got a female suspect. She was injured and arrested in this one. Let's see what this woman was up to. A Shreveport officer tried to take a nude woman into custody on Encina Drive, but the situation went wrong and a fight began. On March 30th at 2.46 a.m., the Shreveport Police Department responded to a report of a nude woman in the area of the 4200 block of Encina Drive. A solo officer located the alleged offender in the area. As the officer was trying to take the nude woman into custody, she allegedly began fighting the officer. SPD says the officer attempted to use a taser but was unsuccessful, and during the altercation, the suspect gained control of the taser and shot the officer in the arm. A uniformed security guard witnessed this and reportedly fired two rounds from his service pistol, striking the alleged offender once. I love how they keep calling this alleged offender because obviously this nude, how many nude women are there out there fighting with the police? But anyway, the alleged offender, both the woman and the officer, were taken into the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The security guard was taken in for an interview. The security guard. Okay, that's a weird story. Shreveport woman fighting. Oh, the officer must be who they're calling the security guard. SPD is investigating. The woman's charges are pending. So she's going to get charges at the very least for indecent exposure. But that's... You know, all this alleged offender stuff, when they're caught in the act, and obviously there's not other nude women running around, and the complaint was about a nude woman, um, you know, you can just call it the, the suspect at that point. All right, let's go to Melrose, Florida, where we have an adult male victim who was unharmed, and our suspect, suspect is Jason Kercher. He's 26 years old, and he was injured, and this one looks like domestic violence. A man from Gaines, Gainesville was shot multiple times in the chest through a Bible in a stand-your-ground shooting after sheriff's deputies say he harmed his baby and attacked bystanders. The sheriff's office says Jason Kercher, 26, of Gainesville, began behaving erratically earlier this week. On Thursday, relatives took 
his three-month-old baby to a home in Melrose off State Road 21 near the elementary school. Kircher met with the family and a Department of Children and Families case manager. Kircher took his wife and baby outside to get some air. Moments later, the case manager heard screaming. Kircher was squeezing the baby hard enough to turn the child blue. He then began walking towards the State Road 21, saying he was God while holding the baby and the Bible. A family member grabbed a shovel and tried to convince him to release the baby. He then laid down on the roadway on top of the child and the baby. Eventually, he got up and the family grabbed the baby. Several vehicles, including a work crew, stopped on the road to avoid hitting him. The crew attempted to hold him down at the, as the family member dropped the shovel. Kircher broke free and grabbed the shovel. He then jumped on top of the vehicle and began hitting and cracking the windshield. He approached a man in a truck, opened the door, and began beating the man with a shovel, breaking his arm. The shovel then broke and Kircher discarded it. Another person grabbed the shovel and hit him. The driver was then able to grab the gun to defend himself as Kircher uh, approached him holding the Bible. The driver fired multiple times, striking him in the chest through the book. I heard probably the fire truck and ambulance three three other times going in different directions, said a neighbor. I didn't know what was, the shooting was, but it was bad. Traffic was stopped, people slamming on their brakes. Kircher was airlifted to a trauma center for treatment. The driver was also taken to the hospital for treatment of a broken arm and multiple cuts. The baby was taken to the pediatric emergency room. The sheriff's office is investigating the incidents and charges are expected for Kircher. Deputies say the driver fired his gun in self-defense and no charges are expected. Wow, that was a lot. That was a whole, that story had a whole lot of everything. You got the guy going to a, you know, child and family case manager with his wife and then taking the baby and then, you know, them tacking him with a shovel, him claiming he's, God and getting shot through his Bible into his chest. That that story is crazy. If you've watched these style videos of the self-defense and you've seen the other style where I just put the news clips, let me know which ones you prefer. Um, I almost prefer to just do it this way, but a lot of times the news the newscast ones are better, although you can't always get the newscast for a lot of the stories. Because a lot of these home invasions, they just they don't even they don't even talk about much on the news in some places. So let me know in the comments which ones you prefer if you've seen them both, and I'll catch you next week.